I am heading off on holiday, bruv. So I'm actually going to my parents' house. So I'm flying in from Dayton to Chicago. I'm staying there for like a day and then we're gonna go on like Friday. So today's Wednesday. So it'll be nice to just spend a day there, but it's gonna be a long trip. I don't get back until 29th. <laughs> so to like today's the 18th. So it's gonna be a long time. I've not really been away from my house that long and I don't really like to leave my house <laughs> um, for very long. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. So anyway, I am very proud of the way that I packed, first of all. So I love these packing, oh, these packing cubes, they're the best. So I'm only bringing three sweaters, one pair of jeans, one pair of my cargos, and then like a couple pairs of um, leggings. I think I'm only bringing one pair of leggings and then the one I'm wearing. And then I have pajamas, I have like socks and stuff in here. And then I have like two t-shirts and I think that's about it in here. I don't know what else is in there. And then I did bring, I like to bring slippers wherever I go. Every time I travel, I'm like, oh, I wish I had slippers. <laughs> so anyway, all right, let me open this up. So first of all, I also put in here, I have an air tag in here that I bought. I bought four tear, uh, air tags. So I have one in my purse, one in my backpack. I'll just show you my backpack in a second. But I have um, Tide pens in here. I've got laundry pouches in here, which these came with my um, bags, but I also have heel cups, which are like the biggest lifesaver, especially if you're going somewhere where you know you're going to walk a lot. I always bring them with me when I go to New York and they save the day. So anyway, um, in here I just have some gifts, which is going to be nice because it'll free up some space in my bag. I have my makeup bag. These are some converters right here in this and snacks. I've got my little brush. I'm not bringing a, a hair dryer. Which, because there says there's one in the room. Plus, I just heard there's like crazy stuff with, the, like you need an adapter and like you can blow stuff if they're really, you know, high power. So I'm just like, no, I'm not going to do that. Um, I have my straightener, which also turns into a curling iron, which is great for travel. I've got two more sweaters back here, just because I like to wear that. I have my hokas in here. I'm going to probably wear my hokas most of the trip. And that's all I have. So I'm going to free up some space when I give those gifts away. Um, and hopefully you have a little bit of space to bring stuff back. I'm not sure. Maybe I should bring like an empty tote or something. I don't know. We'll see. I could probably bring stuff home with my mom. But anyway, in here, I've got my headphones. I've got a book in here. I've got a lot of electronics in this one right here. I have all my electronics in here. Um, including my Kindle. And then at the bottom I have my toiletries, which hopefully you can see, but I just have my toiletries, and then I have also my passport, I have a sleeping mask for the plane, and also for the hotel, and I have a scrunchie, and I also have my iPad in there as well. And then in the side, I've got stuff in here. This is just like gum, um, spray, perfume, blister, heel cup things, like just like necessities that I would need on the plane. I've got an air tag right here on the key leash. So I think that'll be nice, you know, peace of mind. I've got this little, this is a power bank fan and it's also a flashlight. <laughs> so I've got that. I've got some snackies and I have my AirPods. So I have a lot of stuff in here and I also have my medication as well so I think I pretty much packed and you know what I did was I because I obviously I knew I was going on this trip so I packed several 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 and I mean several days in advance so yeah I packed several days in advance so I really feel like I've had a lot of time to think it over about what I want to bring um, and then I'm just bringing one coat <laughs> so I'm bringing this coat I wanted to bring more like what people don't talk about enough is just that you can't bring a lot of fashionable items because you don't have enough room in your bag unless you bring like more bags but um i feel like i wanted to really step out and i just i have like basics and stuff so oh well but that's what i packed just wanted to show you i feel pretty proud that i'm in only just these two things so see you later London crew, London. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go.
great day today. I did get some amazing shots on the bus. So we did the, you know, the classic tourist bus situation. It was freezing cold, but it was awesome. And we saw Big Ben, which I thought was way better in person. Like it's gold and glittery and gorgeous. So we saw that, we saw all like the, the big things. We also went to Harrods. We had high tea at Kensington Palace, which was really fun. So we went to Harrods, I'll show you what I got just quickly. And then I'm gonna go take my makeup off. <laughs> I, the first day I will say though, we um, had the worst, I thought I was gonna be able to beat the jet lag cause I actually did sleep on the plane. And I have never in my life been so tired. We just got back. My mom and I walked to a vegan restaurant and then I got back and I fell asleep for like, I, I just, I don't even know what to say. It was so bad. So anyway, this is one of the, I got an ornament. I thought this was super cute. So this is from Harrods. Okay. And then I got also this from Harrods. This was only 10 pounds and I just thought that was way too cute. So I don't know what I'm going to put in there. I really don't have any big plans for this, but I just thought it was way too cute to not get. And I love like the Harrods stuff. So I got that. And then my lipstick at Kensington Palace. I don't know if you can see, let me try and zoom in. My lips are cracked and just, it's not good. So I got this from Kylie, they had a huge Kylie Cosmetics. I don't even know why. I've never seen that, like they don't even have that in America. So I got the Kylie Cosmetics Sugar Lip Scrub right here, which I'm going to have to use tonight because things were dire out there. And then I also got the Kylie Lip Oil. And honestly, I don't know why I bought this, but I thought the packaging was pretty cute. So I kind of like that. So I'm going to be using that tonight too because I need to do something about this. My lips are so dry, but I also got that from Harrods. And then finally I went to Zara and I got something very stylish. And it's these gray sweatpants, which I love Zara sweatpants. And these look like the perfect gray sweats. And they were 20 pounds. So <laughs> that's all I got today. But we did have a great day. And then we ate at a really great place called Wolf and Lamb. It was all vegan. They have so many vegan, all vegan restaurants here. And I have to say, it was very good. So if you're in London... <laughs> I'm already giving out recommendations. If you're in London, go to High Tea. And if you're in London, go to Wolf and Lamb because that was pretty much a hit from all of us. So that's all today. I'm gonna go take my makeup off. Okay, vlog. London day, what is this, three? I feel like it feels like day two though because we slept because the, the jet days. lag yeah. was so bad. I don't think I discussed it really on here how bad the jet lag was. I thought I was gonna be able to beat it because I did sleep on the plane. But it was the worst. I've never been that sick and tired in my life. Like I felt, we were like, we likened it to a hangover. 10. Tenfold, <laughs> 10 times over. It was that bad. So we literally, we got off the plane at like 10.30, we landed I think, and then slept the entire rest of the day. We woke up to go to dinner. And then I was saying even at dinner, I'm like, well maybe I'll go to the gym or something here. No, I came home and I fell asleep and I slept for until the morning the next morning but then I was fine so like today we're good and yesterday I was good so anyway this is the view we have a garden down there it's gorgeous and sunny look at this way can you even see that probably not but yeah super nice so I've got my this is my outfit I've got my gloves I've got my jacket my sunglasses lululemon bag today we're going to Camden Market so that's where all the celebrities hang out, apparently, allegedly. So it is mentioned in London Boy by Taylor Swift. And she has been spotted here recently. And she, like, spends most of her time here. So if we run into her, I'll be ready because I'm wearing my 1989 uh, sweatshirt, necklace. I've got my bejeweled bracelet on and I, my phone background is Taylor Swift. So I'll be ready. <laughs> I'll be ready. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go. We love it here so much. Like, we really do. So, peace.
playing with the Blair Witch Project. So I'm gonna do a haul in this very weird lighting, but this is the best I can do. So first thing, well, we went to Camden Market today and it was fabulous. It was like nothing I'd ever really seen before. It was almost like a cross between the Chris Kindle Market and like the public market, if you've been to anywhere like that has a public market. There's one in Milwaukee, there's one in, I think, Columbus, Ohio, and then obviously the one that's in Seattle. So it was kind of like that, but it was just really cool, and there were a lot of people, and it was just lots of vendors and things like that. So, well, this is one place I wish I didn't stop, but whatever. I had to do what I had to do, and it was only, I don't know, three, six pounds total, but I got... Oh, here, do you want to give Dad the... Um, oh, yeah. I got socks for Jarvis because I don't know what else to get him, really. Yeah, hey. So, oh, you have this that's stuff. London socks. But the lady was kind of a nightmare to deal with him. That's I'm not going to lie. That's your picture. What is it? Oh, thank you. Um, okay, I'll show you this next because the last thing I got from the Camden Market is the, be is the best. No offense to Taylor Swift, because this is kind of, I realized, I thought this was like one of the kind, and then I saw like three other vendors that had this. It was only 10 pounds, which is good. So, it was like a Taylor Swift blank space portrait. I thought it was kind of cool. And it's got the lyric. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm i like a Taylor Swift collector now, apparently. So I got that. That was, was what it was. And then finally, this is actually the first thing I bought, and I feel like this is my best purchase of the day. But this is the store. It's called Studio Kulil Kulilk. K-U-L-I-L-K. And it was the coolest shop. This is like when I think of a like a good place to shop at, like a good vendor. is just something that's unique, like this is. And it was like all handmade and it was all done by this guy's wife who does really cool kind of like modern art. I was really impressed. I was like really, really impressed. So he packaged it up really nice. And this is like basically what I'm looking for because things are kind of expensive here. I'm kind of looking for sort of like stuff I can only get in London, London specific, kind of cool, unique, artsy, like that's what I'm looking for and also affordable. So I got this set, it's a set of four tile coasters, and they are so ultra cool, I cannot wait to show you. So this first one, all these different, look how cool this is, all these different big bends, but they're just all different, you know, but they're all kind of like an artsy set, isn't that cool? So we got the taxi cab, I love these, and they're really nice quality. So we've got kind of like the London skyline right there. We've got Big Ben and all the other stuff. And then we've got some telephone booths. So it's all that same art style. I love it. So I got that for me. And I am very excited to bring that home and display it proudly on my coffee table. And it really matches because I really, you know, I've kind of gone with the modern theme. At least I think I have. So... I feel like this is going to be awesome. So I was really excited to get this, and I feel like that was pr a pretty good purchase. And then we went to, where was this called? Super Drug. And we had some fun in there. Let me tell you. We got a lot of stuff. I wanted to get also kind of just like makeup and stuff that I could, can't really get anywhere else. So I'm just going to show you what my mom and sister got because I need to get it out of my haul. But my sister got this palette right here from MUA Academy, which is really pretty nice when you're looking at it. Then my mom got this lip juice from Uma. So it's a nice pink lip gloss right there. And then she also got this lipstick in 230. This is from, I don't even know what brand this is from, Barry M Cosmetics, I think. Is this? Yes, Barry M Cosmetics and it's like the velvet lipstick in this shade it's very pink so those are i think that's exclusively british i think it is yeah i think it's exclusive so then here's all the stuff that i got so i also got a lipstick but this is like almost my perfect shade that i'm looking for so hopefully it's not actually because then i won't be able to get it i'll have to have people send it to my p.o box <laughs> that are, live in london so anyway let me show you because it's i think it's pretty cute and I want to try it. So look at this gorgeous pink 
Wait a minute, that looks like kind of brown right now that I'm looking at it. Okay. Don't love that. <laughs> okay. Anyway, well, it was not that expensive. Then I found this. That was from Barry M Cosmetics. Then I found this. This is from MUA Makeup Academy, and it's the shade Super Nude. And this one I actually liked even more. So let's hope and see. Let's hope and pray that this looks a little bit better um, here. I think that it, yes, this one looks a lot better in my opinion. Well, no, it kind of looks dark. It looks like worm. It looks the exact same as the one I just put on. It's like too warm. I'm looking for a really pink lipstick and I'm not finding it anywhere I go. And then I found this one. So this is a Satin Sheen Lip Stylo. Don't know what that is, but, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what this is, but it was kind of cute. I mean, it's a it's a pretty color, but once again, it's kind of like not it's not that pink. Oh my god, I'm going to actually lose my mind right now. Then I got this um lip pencil. This was I think only like 2 pounds or something like that, but it was also from MUA Makeup Academy and it's a lip liner and the shade is I don't know what the shade is. Heroic. So I got one that was a little bit darker. Oh, these are pencil liners. Uh-oh, SpaghettiO. So, okay. Okay, don't know what if that did anything or not, but yeah, that's pretty much all the makeup. Oh, and then I got this too. So this is Wild, the shade Wildfire. This is from Barry M Cosmetics and it's Fine Glitter Dust. So you know me, I have to get fine glitter dust. If I see glitter in the name, I must buy it. No questions asked. And I was hoping to see Taylor Swift today, so I wore my 1989, didn't see her, unfortunately. She says she likes to walk in Camden in the afternoon in the song London Boy. So I don't know where she was. So sad about that. But I was signed up for a super drug card today against my will. Um, so. That's good for any time I have to come back here ever again. Oh, actually, this is really gorge. Look at this. Oh my god, that is actually, wait, that is actually kind of legit. This was really cheap, too. We took the tube a ton today, also. Mm -hmm. So. I think it's the easiest subway I've ever been on. It's, my mom says it's the easiest subway she's ever been on. So easy. Oh my god, that looks really good. Oh, and there's my lip gloss. That's way too way like way too not the color I wanted can I actually can I see your lipstick yeah can I even open it really quick because I might have to take it from you which one There's the pink one not the lip gloss the lipstick this one yes thank you all right let's open this one because I kind of was gravitating towards this one but then I was like oh that one's more nude and I'm pale, so, okay. Anyway, let's see. Barry M Cosmetics. Oh my god, that doesn't want to open. Yeah, the, Okay. Let's try this. Okay, can I have this, huh? Yeah. You can have I think I bought it knowing it wasn't going to be my shade, but that's you can have mine exclusively British brand. Yeah, I like that pink better. Um, anyway, so that's my haul. Um, yeah, that pink one is way better. Is it? Yes. Ooh. Do you want my? Do you want this one? I have this other. I have. You this might other. like Why, it. Why you don't like that one? Well, right? it was just too. It was a little bit too brown. So anyway, crying. that's my haul. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> That was not him. That was not me. Um, Say hi to the vlog. Oh no. Hello, vlog. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we got her. <laughs> nice. Um, so anyway, that's my haul. And kind of successful. We had a fun day today. Mm -hmm. So great food. Oh, and we also, where was the place we ate at? Really quick. Um, Pesa? Pure 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 Pure
margarita pizza, vegan margarita pizza. It actually pizza. tasted like and cheese. sourdough garlic. It was, so, it's like wood fired. It was so good. So anyway, that's my haul. Tomorrow we go to Harry Potter. So big day ahead and we need to get to sleep.